Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. And I wanted to thank you for joining me today in my studio for today's project. So the project is supposed to be weaving a uh, wool, blend, wool and silk blend scarf in an overshot pattern. But I ran into a few issues that I wanted to talk about first. So this is a four shaft overshot pattern from the January-February 2017 issue of Handwoven Magazine. It's called Amaryllis in Winter. It's a beautiful scarf. Uh, the, wef, the warp is a 60% silk, 40% wool in a 64 ply, which is very fine. The weft is also that uh, 64 ply and for the tabby weft and a uh, 8 to reeled silk. So here is a picture of the pattern or the scarf I should say. It's beautiful and they have a picture of the a close-up of the pattern So I thought I'd talk a little bit about what overshot is. So overshot is a complex weave, which means it has more than two elements. In this case, it has three. It has one element is the uh, warp and it has two wefts. So two elements there. The warp and one of the elements, the tabby weft, are typically the same uh, yarn. So I would be using the 64 ply uh, silk wool blend for the warp and the tabby weft to create a ground cloth that is woven in a plain weave. Plain weave is typically woven in a balanced weave. So if we have 28 ends per inch for our uh, warp, you would expect to weave 28 ends or picks per inch for the weft. But we're introducing a pattern weft also for our second or for our third element. Now the pattern weft in this scarf is the 8-2 and it's silk is not measured that way, but uh, it's an 8-2 equivalent sizing of a uh, reeled silk. It's beautiful, it's shiny, it's pure white, and um, it will catch the light really nicely. So when you weave with Overshot, you'll take the picks per inch for the tabby weft down a little bit to leave room for that uh, pattern weft. And so this pattern calls for, well, let me back up a moment. Normally you would weave, say, 22 picks per inch with the tabby weft and 22 picks per inch for the pattern weft. Now that sounds like it would be packed in there and how could you ever do that? But the thing with Overshot is it's just, it's doing just that. It's overshooting your ground cloth. So here is a sample of a piece that I did a few years ago. And the turquoise here is the tabby. So this is the warp and you can't really hardly even see the weft because it is kind of buried between the pattern weft. Um, the beige here is a wool and it is, oh, I would say it was probably the equivalent of a 900 yard per pound. Actually, this one, um, this one was uh, the Highland, I can't remember exactly what, what wool it was, but it's pretty thick. You can see 
um, that it, it takes up a lot of space. So the, the cool thing about Overshot is you can create these very complex patterns on four shafts by using Overshot and tying down the uh, floats with the tabby weft. So when you're weaving Overshot, you would normally weave double the picks per inch that you would expect. So in the case of this scarf, it's 28 ends per inch in the warp. And so I would expect around 22 picks per inch each of the tabby weft and the pattern weft. However, this particular pattern specifically states 22 picks per inch total, 11 picks per inch for the tabby and 11 picks per inch for the uh, pattern. That just didn't seem right to me, but hey, I follow directions. And this also was a kit from Trenway Silks. Um, so the pattern was designed specifically for these yarns. And uh, when you order the kit from Trenway Silks, it is specifically for this pattern. And you can uh, purchase the pattern with the kit. Now you get enough warp and weft to make two scarves but it's silk, it's very expensive. So I was very excited to uh, weave this finally because I've had the kit for uh, three years. So when I started weaving this, I started weaving it at a little higher beat than, well, I started weaving it at the beat that I thought it should be. And when I measured, it was set too tight. Um, so I backed off and I started weaving it in the 22 picks per inch total. But it didn't look right. I double checked the pattern and sure enough, it's supposed to be 11 pattern picks, 11 tabby picks, 22 total. So I continued on. I continued on for about eight inches eight to 10 inches and it just didn't look right. So I stopped and I consulted the hive mind online and asked if anybody else had woven this scarf. Well, several people responded back who I know are good weavers. They're experienced weavers, probably more experienced than I am. And they all said, it should be double, 22 pattern, 22 tabby. So I said, well, maybe I should sample. I have enough for two scarves and the uh, loom waist is a little bit more than what my loom waist. So I may have enough to do two scarves still and still sample. So I determined to weave uh, two samples, one at the stated set and one at the set that I thought it should be. So I unwove that 10 inches and I started weaving at the, uh, we'll call it 44 picks per inch instead of the 22. And that looked absolutely correct. I was confident that that was the correct set. So I continued on and it looked beautiful. It looked exactly like the picture. It looked exactly like it should look. And I wove for the rest of the day. And at the end of the day, I had about, oh, 20, 25 inches. It takes a long time to weave overshot, especially at these uh, sets. So I checked my uh, comments on my post and lo and behold, 
Trenway Silks had responded to the post. And they stated, back when this pattern was published, somebody had written to them insisting that the set was incorrect, that it should have been 44 picks per inch. So they checked with the designer and weaver and she confirmed that no, it should be 22 picks per inch, 11 and 11. They also stated that if I wove it at a normal uh, set for overshot, that I would get a stiff um, scarf. So I, I sat on it overnight and then I decided, no, I need to sample because it didn't seem right but I've never woven with a silk wool blend and a silk, a reeled silk in overshot. So I unwove those 20, 25 inches. It took me all day, but I got to the end and I rewove two sections. Each section was about two inches uh, in length one at 22 picks per inch, one at 44 picks per inch. And then I cut it off and I wet finished it. And I was right. Well, I was kind of right. So here is my sample. As you can see, the one on the top is set at 22 picks per inch, or I should say woven at 22 picks per inch. The one on the bottom is woven at 44 picks per inch. Now the drape of, and it's hard to tell um, with when they're connected to each other. In fact, we're going to separate them. Now, to do these samples, I hem stitched between each one and at the ends uh, because I knew that I didn't want to sew it. Um, and I knew if I left just uh, waste yarn in between and at the ends, it would probably come out during the wet finishing. So I did take the time to hem stitch all this. And I'll hem stitch on the uh, other one too. So this is the one that is at the 22 ends per inch. It is very drapey, um, very nice, but you can't really see the pattern very well. You can barely see it um, on camera. It's easier to see stuff on camera. This one, yes. It's not as drapey, but you can really see the pattern. It's a lot more like the picture in the magazine, right? In fact, it's the picture in the magazine doesn't do it justice. Oops. Now, this isn't quite as drapey as I would like. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it down to about 18 or 19 picks per inch. When I wet finish this, the wool in the weft, the tabby weft and the warp did bloom a little bit uh, and kind of puff up. So I think that that's why it's not quite as, as uh, drapey. I think if I took it down a little bit, I would still get the pattern from the overshot, um, but I would get some of that drape back. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've just spent probably the last four days in weaving and thinking and struggling and planning 
and I have nothing to show for it except some knowledge. And that is worth a lot. Um, yes, I may not have quite enough for two 72 inch scarves, um, but I now know that when I weave this, I'm not going to have enough for two scarves for the weft because the pattern um, and the kit doesn't provide enough for the two scarves at the set that I want to use. So I don't know if the pattern is right or wrong. Um, obviously the designer and the weaver that published the uh, pattern, she wove it at a set that she thought was appropriate and from the pictures her set came out great. Um, I'm not getting that, so I'm going to weave what I think is right. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning a little bit about Overshot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start weaving the scarf if you would like to join me in doing that. Um, I will be posting a subsequent video very shortly after that, or after this one. In the meantime, thanks for watching and happy weaving.